Hey Joe. What? We need a new table saw? Okay, YouTube project. Joe? Okay guys, so first things first. This will be the motor of the new table saw. Uh, it is a 220 volt single phase induction motor. 2.2 kilowatt, 2800 RPM. I uh, took this motor out of a construction site table saw which I bought off eBay for uh, 70 euros. So it was a pretty good deal, I think. Um, the motor is meant to take the um, saw blade directly, so it's a direct drive system, which is convenient. It makes the whole build much easier. And here is a sketch, what I have in mind, just uh, the rough idea. So it, it will be basically um, the usual frame in frame construction. So one frame um, takes the motor and it will be the up and down adjustment. And this frame is mounted into another frame which will be the tilting motion uh, of the table saw. So that's what I want to build first. These two frames mount somehow the motor and I will go from there and I will build the whole table saw actually around uh, this thing here. So I will build the uh, table saw from inside out you could say. Okay, so enough blah blah, well, let's go! So uh, just tech welded it and it looks a bit weird in the first place but uh, I happen to have a lot of these uh, 10 inch saw blades and uh, now you can see what's the reason why I'm mounting the motor upside down because I want to get, let's imagine this is the table of the table saw. I want to get the most uh, cut capacity out of it. Here's the blade. Well, that's the reason why I'm mounting the motor upside down. So I can use uh, these 10 inch blades and if I need uh, more cut capacity I can also put a bigger blading, of course.
Yes, it was quite fiddly to get the motor in place, but eventually I got it mounted. So the motor is fixed to the height adjustment here. So this is the mechanism which uh, elevates the blade. I have used pillow block bearings here, so there's absolutely no play in the mechanism. And this is uh, one of the biggest blades which I will ever use on this saw. It has a diameter of 35 centimeters. So very big blade. Um, I will eventually put some uh, gussets in here to uh, keep the frame square but that's for later in the build because first I want to order a linear motor, linear actuator which will sit somewhere here so after the linear motor has arrived I can cut and weld the supports here Raining. Okay guys, so here is my method to align the tilt hinges. Uh, it's basically a USB board with a slot in it so that I can stick the saw blade through. And here is my center line. And this is the way how I align my hinges here with this center line close up and also I left myself a little bit of a leeway here so that I can um, swing the saw blade a little bit beyond 90 degrees uh, this should give me more chances to um, get the saw blade exactly perpendicular. Next step I will tack weld these plates here, just tack weld them and I will fully weld them later in the build process when I can be sure that everything is aligned correctly. Don't forget the ground wire. So here is 
the original riving knife and the riving knife holder and now I will try to adapt this riving knife holder here to go on like so and uh, hopefully I can reuse this part. And you may have noticed this ledge here. Um, this is where the dust hood will go later in the build. So I will put in washers for now and make a proper dust hood when the time comes. Unfortunately, um, the old driving knife does not fit anymore, and I have made a mock-up, a cardboard mock-up of the biggest saw blade which I can use on this saw. These are the smaller ones, and also I have made a mock-up uh, of the new driving knife, which can sit like this, adjustable, of course. Yeah, that's the next step, fabricating a new riving knife. This is the actuator, uh, 1500 Newton, that should do. Alright, the riving knife is in place and I don't know about the law in other countries but over here in Europe you have to have a riving knife on your table saw otherwise you will get in trouble with the health insurance if something happens so riving knife i'm feeling safer to have a table saw with a riving knife and it is vital anyway okay <clears throat> next thing traitor let's find a place to mount it
two. Two, does it look right? Okay, friends, so <laughs> as usual, I totally underestimated the amount of work which uh, is involved to build such a machine. Uh, in the next video, I will build the base of the machine and get the tilt mechanism going. So stay tuned for part two of the build and maybe I can persuade you to subscribe to my channel and for now I'm saying thanks for watching.